In this video, you'll learn how to search for primary sources in the Noble Catalog. The first thing we'll want to do is head to the library homepage at www.gordon.edu library. Once on the homepage, scroll down to the Search the Library section. From here, use the Noble Catalog tab and click on More Catalog Search Options to open up the full catalog in a new tab. When searching for primary sources in the Noble Catalog, we have to figure out where within the catalog is my collection of sources? How can I find them? And the best way to do this is to start by searching by keyword and then use some subject headings on a catalog record to go ahead and find your primary sources. Let's take a look at an example. Say you were looking for primary sources in the area of Asian history. We're gonna type in a couple of keywords. We're gonna start with Asia, history, and also we're gonna tack onto this primary sources. And it's that keyword of primary sources that's gonna to try to help us find collections of these kinds of documents within our catalog. Let's go ahead and click search. So remember what we're trying to do with this initial round of searching. We're trying to find what collection of books are in our catalog that contain information about primary sources and use those as entryways into potentially more resources. Let's scroll and take a look at some of our search results. One of the search results that jumps out to me is result number eight, Islamic Central Asia, an anthology of historical sources. And notice that in this title, we have some idea about what this is actually doing for us. It says historical sources, so I'm guessing that this is a source book of actual documents from that period of history. Let's go ahead and click into this resource. Once you jump to the title, we are now looking at the book's record within the Noble Catalog. If we wanted to access this book, notice this one is an electronic resource, so we'd click on the link Access for Gordon College via EBSCOhost to open up the ebook. But let's scroll down and take a look at the lower part of this book's record. One of the things that's useful is the subject heading section at the bottom of the record. And what this basically tells you is every book within our catalog has been tagged with subjects or multiple subjects that describe what this book is about. And oftentimes these are more helpful ways to look for that primary sources. The thing with searching for subject is you have to know the exact combination of terms within the subject heading in order to be able to search by subject. That's why I recommend starting by keyword, finding one example book, and then using those subject headings at the bottom of the book's record to help you find more resources. So here I see one of my subject headings is Asia, Central History Sources. So again, with that sources on the end there, we're getting documents or books within our library that are specifically talking about primary sources. Let's go ahead and see if we can expand our result by clicking on that subject heading. Now I'm looking at the different sources uh, within our library that have been tagged with that specific resource. Uh, so we've got a couple of different options here. Keep doing this. Try out different options. For example, now what I might do is take off Central there and do Asia, History, and Sources. And we're searching by subject to see what's available, searching by a larger subject category. Try this out with the different types of resources you're looking for, maybe the different regions that you're studying, the different religions that you're studying within this particular class, or even the different time periods, and see if you can find the correct subject heading that you're looking for to help you find primary sources. Let's jump back into that example that we saw earlier, Islamic Central Asia, and let me show you what these kinds of sources look like. So remember I said to access this one, it's an ebook, go ahead and click on that link. And then once you're in the ebook, you can use the table of contents to click into any section that's useful for you. So the way in which primary source collections are often organized is it gives an introduction and then there's specific translated or documented sources within that chapter. So we could lead, read a little bit about the intro of Central Asia in the early Islamic period, and then we could jump right into different accounts uh, about uh, that particular time period or whatever this book is documenting. Uh, so it's a really interesting and fast way to find uh, collections of primary sources within our catalog. I hope this helps, and if you have any questions, remember that you can ask Jenks.